Hey guys, it is Travis with the Jellyfish Warehouse. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up your brand new Neo Jellyfish Aquarium. Behind me here we have the Neo 15. Don't worry if you have the Neo 4, the setup is almost identical. So follow along with me and we'll have your tank set up in no time. The first step is finding a strong, sturdy place for your jellyfish tank, like this bookshelf here. Once your tank has found a home, we can begin setting it up. Start by removing the light and setting it aside. Locate the Superstart Biological Media and the Black Filter Sponge. If you're not planning on setting up your tank immediately, you can keep the Superstart in your fridge for up to two weeks. Once the Superstart Media has been removed from its bag, we can pull the tube off of the spray bar here and set it aside. We'll then grab the Superstart Media holding it by the string, tuck it into this left compartment here and then hook the string around the spray bar fitting. Put the hose back on and make sure it's snug. Once installed, it doesn't need to be removed or cleaned at any point. Rinse the sponge out well under tap water for a few minutes. Now we can take the filtration sponge and tuck it neatly into the left side of the tank, like so. Now it's time to fill up your new tank with salt water. I'm using a pump here to make things easier. Alexa, turn on mixing station. Okay. If you're new to saltwater aquariums, we recommend purchasing premixed water from your local aquarium store. You can usually buy it for around a dollar a gallon. You'll want your water level to sit right below these two baffles here. When plugging in your jellyfish tank, make sure the cord hangs below the outlet. This is called a drip loop. As you can see here, when we drip a couple drops of water onto the cord, none of them end up running into the outlet. Now you can plug the power supply directly into the tank. We recommend setting the flow valve to about halfway. You may need to change this later. So now that your tank is all set up, I'm sure you're excited to go ahead and order your jellies. but we have to let the tank cycle properly. That is the process of letting all of the beneficial bacteria populate so that your tank is safe for jellyfish. That super start media we added before does contain live bacteria, but it still takes about a week for them to fully wake up and colonize your tank. Just to be sure, it's a good idea to have your water tested for ammonia and nitrites. You can typically take this to your local aquarium store and they'll test it, or you can use an at-home aquarium test kit to verify. Now that the tank is done cycling, we've added a couple of juvenile flame jellyfish. As you can see, they're still clear. They haven't adopted that beautiful bright orange color that they're known for. We'll record their progression of growing out in this tank and keep you all updated on them. If you have any questions about setting up your new jellyfish tank, please feel free to reach out and contact us. We're always happy to help. Thank you for watching and enjoy your new jellyfish tank.